stuck. Hi, guy. Oh, this is. We're off to a good start. <laughs> I gotta like scoot my little self into my little desk, and now I'm here. Hi, guys. Welcome back. This is such a fun one. I have done this video once before, and I'm of the thought that sometimes, well, when my channel was small, it's still small, I can put out a video and it never gets seen because it just doesn't get picked up. So I am refilming it. Hopefully it reaches more people because I think it's a super, super helpful video. And this should be like one of the quickest videos ever because I'm just gonna show you how to do this. It seems self-explanatory that this method, like you should know how to do it, but I don't think a lot of people know. So we're gonna jump in and we're gonna save all your powder products because you know what I'm talking about when like maybe you have moisturizer or sunscreen on and then you go to put a powder on and then when you dip it back in, you start getting like gunk in the powder. It can be fixed very easily. You don't have to like scrape it off. You don't have to throw it away. Let's just fix it. Let's jump in, let's do it. By the way, I'm Dana, nice to meet you. If you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe down below and give this video a big old like. It really does help my channel so much. So. Let's go. Okay, you know what I'm talking about. It's gonna be hard on some of them to see the gunk, especially this one, but I'm gonna try to show you exactly what I'm talking about. It might be more visible on this product, right around the edge. This one's not super bad, but some of the products you'll see, you start getting kind of this buildup. There we go. There is the buildup. This is um, a Victoria Beckham eyeshadow. And it's just because I went in maybe like the, eyeshadow base hadn't dried yet and then with the brush went and dipped it back in and it got on there all you need is tape clear tape usually i masking tape could work i have packing tape um you know whatever it takes whatever you've got i don't have any regular scotch tape but that works perfectly well too and all you do is take the tape this is going to take some work i'm going to put it on eh. Press it in and oh, voila, do you see that? And then, so a little bit left, but that's not a problem. You just do it again. And make sure to press exactly where it's like the gunk is, and then you peel it off and look at it this time. It's pretty much gone. I've been waiting to do this on video and not like kind of working around the edges of that, but now it's perfectly fine. Let's try it on a few others. I'll just put a little bit more tape. Perfection. And honestly, it just, you know, if you miss a spot, just go over it. It saves you time, it saves you product. You don't have to scrape a lot off. I'm up here, sorry. Um, now, I have to stand to do this so you guys can see. This one is this Laura Geller like bake, blah, baked um, stuff, foundation, I guess. And it got it pretty bad because I go in right after my sunscreen, but I wanna see how well this works. And I did not use this while I was away in New York over Christmas because I wanted to save it for you guys. This one should be so good. Ah, look at that. All that color is restored. So do you see the difference between there and here? She's like new. So that's it. That's all it takes. Just a little bit of tape, five seconds. I leave some tape by my desk in here where I get ready because if it does happen, I can like take it off immediately and continue using my stuff. So I hope this helped. If you did like it, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.